Um, as far as as far as the grenade launchers, my goodness, there are so many different uh, different types here. I have a long list here, so we're going to have to go through. So let's start with this one, level 85, and also level 80. Okay, so um, she has a new a new strange um, a new strange grenade launcher, which I'm going to show here. And it's the first time I used this, I wasn't sure what to expect, so I charged it up and then I tried to like, you know, see what I was going to try and shoot at something out here and I killed myself and I was like, what in the world just happened? So I restarted, of course, and I figured out and turns out she has a, a bombing plan just like the Air Raider and it's, it's a pretty cool idea for sure for a weapon, so if you aim a little bit up this time to be a little safer you will see that it shoots a line of grenades across the map which is a really cool idea it's almost it's almost like a uh, bombing plant she can she can shoot out so i mean you can always use it in the air i suppose and shoot straight down to do a lot of damage to one target but the damage is a little bit low it does uh, about 16k damage total, I'm guessing. I, I'm not 100% sure on the stats, but it's close to about that. It does a 750 meter range, roughly, and a 439, sort of 439 energy cost, and an 18 meter blast. So, so the damage isn't great, but I'm not sure how... I mean, it could be used on crowds of enemies, I suppose. But uh, it's definitely an interesting weapon. I don't like to fault them for making a, an interesting new weapon. Because usually you can find some kind of use for it. So I would like to see a little bit more damage, honestly. But uh, pretty cool idea. I definitely like the way it looks. And then she has also um, just a standard... Well, not it's not standard this time because it shoots four shots now. Like Some of them shoot three, some of them shoot two. But this best one, it shoots four shots. So if you uh, charge it, it'll shoot four back to back. So you have to be careful that you don't, you know, hit yourself because you have to allow for all four shots to come out. I mean, obviously you can, I guess, you can reload and cancel the other ones, but uh, so that's her new her new way of, of do doing uh, grenade rockets uh, is, is it shoots like in, in burst shots. So it does a 6k total, so not the greatest damage. So it's a uh, so 6k total and um, uh, so about 3k DPS because of the charge time. And it's got 1,200 meter range. Shoots pretty straight, so it does, that's pretty nice. They, they used to arc a lot more in the previous game, I think. But uh, this time it's a much straighter shot. And 25 meter blast, I'm guessing, when it maxed out. Um, 227 uh, energy, so pretty cheap. Um, I mean, obviously it's not as much damage, but not too bad. Cause especially with the, with the uh, what is it called, the dragoon triland staying in the air you can use these rockets a lot more from the air staying in the air and shooting down which I'll show a little bit later um, she has grenades this time and they are better this time around the next thing we're gonna show is a grenade um, the nice thing about the grenades is they don't take any energy they just take time to reload so there's no energy cost at all for this grenade and it does a uh, four uh, 4500 damage and uh, it does uh, a 2200 meter range and a 20 plus meter blast so pretty good for her grenades I kinda like her grenades they're not too bad and then she also has uh, single shots uh, one big blast shot pretty much and this one is uh, 1700 damage maxed out roughly and um, 16 1600 uh, meter range which is absolutely ridiculous or 16 uh, yeah 100, 100 meter range which I'm not sure why you would need that long of a range but so it definitely shoots straight. Only 106 energy and over a 30 meter blast probably when it's maxed out. So that's pretty nice. But they're very they're very low energy costs. So just like this is probably one of the better ones to use while you're flying in the air with the uh, trilance. You could just shoot the uh, grenade or uh, the grenade launcher one shot. But uh, for grenade, as you can see, it doesn't cost the energy. It just takes uh, time in the background to reload, which is nice. So it's about 1k DPS if you figure in the the charge time or the yeah the, the charge time, but uh, a little bit slow, but it definitely has a long range <laughs> and a decent meter, a decent blast meter. 
And then this is her single shot. It's pretty quick, pretty quick shot and uh, decent damage, decent blast for what it is. And like I said, if you're if you're staying in the air sh with the tri lance, you know, just dashing around, you can easily just switch to this and use a rocket launcher from the air. It doesn't cost much at all, and uh, pretty nice. So, so that's a nice change as well. On to the next one. So we're on level 65 now because here's another four shot uh, four shot rocket launcher or grenade launcher rather um, here's another single shot one and he, she has a grenade that's uh, also a variant which is a split grenade which is kind of cool as well um, this one is level 65 it does 6800 damage which is quite a bit um, it roughly equals out to about 6 6.5 k dps um, and it has about ridiculous range it could be up to like 2k range 2k meter range which is ri ridiculous and a 15 meter blast perhaps when it's maxed out somewhere around there and then for level 62 she also has that fan pattern uh, grenade launcher as well which I'll show here these split grenades I've definitely have used in the past on different difficulties um, I don't know if I've used it on Inferno but it's kinda cool it's like a pattern like that. It's almost like that bombing plan to some respect where it's, it throws it like in a line and it hits the ground and then makes like a line of splash grenades. Kind of cool. And with no energy costs, they're definitely more tempting to use. And now that they throw a little bit more accurate in the air, um, it's, it's definitely a lot more accurate in the air rather because in the past if you were flying backwards and trying to throw your grenade, you would throw it behind you. Even though the line showed in front of you, you'd, you'd throw it behind you, so I don't know the physics on that, but anyway. And then here's the uh, fan pattern one, made it back. But it shoots faster and it's got a smaller blast radius. Because there, there was one before in the previous that just shot one shot and it was uh, pretty high damage. This does about 1.8k damage per second, or 1.8k damage rather, and a 700 damage per second. Uh, about a 600 meter range. Um, about 170 energy and a 10 meter blast somewhere around there so not the greatest damage but it does shoot 10 shots which is interesting kinda cool looking kind of cool idea but I think it's outclassed by other weapon types but it's not I don't think it's I don't think it's worthless so so that's decent different and then there's the uh, huge shot. She has one, it's like a, the monster of the grenade launcher, which is new. It's only level 55, and it does 22,649 damage, point one, of course. And uh, let's see what else. So it's about, it r r equals about 5.k damage per second if you include the reload time. Um, it's got a huge range. I as you can see, it's got like, over an 8,000, 8.7 uh, k meter range, which is ridiculous. I mean, why would you need an 8,000 meter range? I guess it's just implying that it shoots fast and it shoots straight. Um, 610 energy cost and a 36 meter blast, so it's a huge blast. And then she has a uh, machine gun one, which I want to show, which is this thing right here. All right, let's go ahead and take these out. All right, yeah, I actually had a phone call. I had to cut the video here really quick. But anyway, let's go ahead and start with the uh, machine gun one first here. It's like a, it's almost like a splash, almost like a mini gun or like a grenade launcher that shoots. It's a bunch of little tiny mini grenades. Um, it's not. It's definitely interesting. Uh, let's see what the damage is on it. So, it's only a level. Uh, let's see. It's only level 51. It does about 1.1k DPS, and it's got a long range, so it's not too bad on the range, about 1600 range. And, uh, what else? And it's about 107 energy and a 6 meter blast, so a little bit underwhelming damage, but for the, I guess it's for the level, it's not terrible, but the thing is, it's, it's a decent amount of energy for the level, so I'm not sure how useful this thing would be, honestly. But like I said, I, I don't like to fault them for interesting new weapons, so I, I kind of like the idea of it. I just, I just think they need to tweak some of the numbers to make it a little bit more valuable, a little bit better. Uh, maybe have a larger magazine or something like that, I'm not sure. 
And then there's a huge monster, which is a rocket launcher. It's got a long charge up time, but uh, does 22,649, I believe. 650. And it's got a large blast, 35 meter blast, so. Pretty cool. 610 energy, but because it takes long to shoot, it's nice that it doesn't doesn't feel like 610 energy because of that fact. So, definitely cool. Glad they added this weapon to the game. And let's hit a frog with this thing. But it is nice you can charge it ahead of time and then get your energy back and then go into battle and then do your big shot. Did I miss them? I hit one of them. Yeah, because if I would have hit him, I would have killed him, so yeah. But yeah, nice straight shot, nice strong damage, pretty cool. And then this thing, of course this is Inferno, so... I mean, it knocks enemies back, looks like, so... That's one of the negatives of some of the weapons in this game. Like, that's one of the negatives of the Cascade, for example, for the Ranger, is that when it knocks enemies back, it's hard to do damage. I mean, but it's, it's good for crowd control, I suppose. You can always keep enemies away from you. Especially spiders, but I don't know how useful it'd be. I think it'd be easier to use if it didn't have a charge. If it was more of just a magazine, I would kind of like that better. I think, but uh, but yeah. And uh, there's also another more accurate machine gun, which I'll show here. Level 33. This thing. Let's go ahead and take this. Same idea, but just more accurate than the previous one that shoots um, like that minigun. It's more of like a straight shooting machine gun, so definitely long range. Interesting weapon. Kind of cool. It's probably better than any of the lasers, honestly, <laughs> you know, because of the no damage fall off, so I don't know. A lot of things out class of lasers this time. But I think that's pretty much it. There's level 30, another single shot, another grenade, another machine gun type, three round burst, uh, 7,700 damage, uh, 30, another split grenade. 7,700 damage, what? Yeah, that's right. There is a level 15 weapon that has 7,700 damage. Absolutely ridiculous. This weapon is a really cool weapon to use on Inferno, believe it or not, or any difficulty for that matter. I actually prefer it on higher difficulties because of the fact that it costs less energy for you. Because it's only 200 energy. And 200 energy at level 15 is a lot, but 200 energy at hardest or Inferno level is not much at all. Um, it has a... Uh, Huge blast, 30 meter blast, um, a thousand meter range, and uh, only 200, 197 energy. So absolutely ridiculous. Let me go ahead and take the tri lance out here, as well, to show this. And what I'd like to do is you can just pretty much uh, stay in the air. And let's see how. Let's see this blast here. Are you ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. Are you ready for this? I hope you're ready for this. Here we go. Watch this. Look at that. That is amazing. Level 15. Only level 15 and it does that. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. I took out like four of those rice patties. Absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, as you can see, yeah, you can actually charge them halfway or, <laughs> or partial and make a little baby splat. I love that. It's so hilarious. Oh my goodness, I love it. Anyway, so, you know, with the cheater weapon, you can always cheat, and then you can uh, stay in the air with this like this, and then you can actually switch to your old big uh, big shot and use it, and it, can, it pushes you back as well in the air, so that's kind of cool. And because it charges so slow, it doesn't hurt as much to take the energy out and go back to your tri lance, and uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool weapon for the air, and it does a lot of damage. I mean, it's a little slow. It's a slow shot, unfortunately. I mean, that's why maybe the faster one could outclass it sometimes, but it's not terrible. I mean, 
And when it hits, it hits. So, pretty cool. Let me uh, take this underground one time really quick as well, because it, it's you got it's got to be seen underground, I think. Um, hmm. I don't need the tri lance. Let me change to something else. Let's change to what? Let's try this thing. Okay, I'm gonna use mission. I hope I have it unlocked. I don't know if I do. Oh, I do, yeah. Uh, mission 81 offline at least. Um, we'll use Inferno. That's fine. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this thing online um, on all difficulties. It's an extremely ridiculous weapon. It's still got. It's still good on hard or on normal, whatever difficulty it would um, need to be, because you can still double charge it up and then just do you know use your huge blast and then take everything out so alright guys a little bit less talking a little bit more walking as they say <laughs> pretty cool I wonder if I can knock them down by the door if it would be faster cause they can't die I don't think these guys they just get knocked down and then they get back up here's how you make them go faster I think Okay, they weren't impressed. Rufus! Rufus, are you okay? Okay, he's okay. Don't worry. Alright, here we go. Y'all ready for this? Bring it on. Fight! I'm gonna wait a little bit till they get a little clustered up more. Absolutely ridiculous splat. I love how it looks in this game. The uh, blue, the blue light, and the splat on the ground it looks so cool. But yeah, this is this is an inferno level, and it's it one shots, you know, one shots the ants, one shots the spiders. I one shot my guys, unfortunately. Let's see if I can do anything with this sprite fall or not sprite fall bombing run. I think I'm dead now. Oh my goodness. My goodness, we got a frog. We got a frog here. Is he gonna kill me? I hope not. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, he didn't like that at all. Where is he? Is he still alive? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, pretty cool weapon. Oh, he's still alive. Poop. Oh, you got hit by a little poop. A little poop. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Okay. Well, anyway, but yeah, that's that's all the weapons. Um, I'm definitely happy with the changes in these class in these uh, categories. Uh, I think, as far as the overall of grenade launchers, I think this is a cool lo cool weapon. The bombing run. It's an interesting idea. I think it needs a little bit more damage, but I don't know. We'll see. If there's some uses for it. Um, I really like the. The low energy cost uh, rocket, she has a bunch of low energy cost rockets now, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you call them rockets or grenades. I guess grenade launcher. Excuse me, but uh, I like how low energy cost they are, and it's decent damage. So, pretty happy about the grenade and how it throws straight now, and no energy cost on that. Um, she has a bunch of options with single shots. And then, of course, just love this, the, large, the large boom one, the 22,000 damage one. And then, of course, the uh, level 15 one, which, like I said, I use almost all the time uh, underground and just in various situations, a very useful weapon. So pretty cool overall. So next time we're going to cover all the uh, the, missile, the missile launchers and uh, her items because I did cover the grenades already. So if you're interested about the special grenades, check out are the special, are the, um, special grenades good now uh, for Wing Diver. I covered all those in there, so... Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video.